starts with a look all that it took I feel like I had too much champagne It starts with a touch I'm lost in the rush Boy, you like bubbles in my brain You're under my skin I'm drinking you in Like I can't get enough champagne My bodies are close Need a heavier dose mm, You like bubbles in my brain Brain Say no to difficult drafting, okay? So we're going to be bringing in easy life, soft work, everything from the scratch. Anyone that joins in, and there's a plus to it. At the end of everything, we're going to fix a day where we'll be having a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with everyone that will be on that group, okay? So guys, look out for the flyers. You can start registration. WhatsApp number is already in. You can talk with me when we join. We'll have a day to discuss everything you want to ask about, you want to know about, okay? So, yeah, and if you've been in any of my previous classes, any of them before now, you have the privilege of paying 3,000 Naira up until 3rd of March, okay? If you've been in any class before now, you can pay 3,000 Naira. Anything after then, a seven thousand flat rate for anybody. Yes, yeah, so we've spoken our 
about that please look out for the business side of fashion it's coming soon i'm still trying to get all these people it's coming soon okay i'm so excited <laughs> let's focus all right, so I have this Ankara prints. This is what I'll be using because the skirt is this fabric. I'm also going to be using this. You can use any kind of overlay. This will give it a very nice overlay. So I have this stay for the flare part, sturdy and nice. I can either use this or this to give it that structure. You can use any peplum stay that you have. And then I have my pattern. Let us begin drafting. Alright guys, so we're going to first of all start with uh, first um, We're going to start with the front. I have to the half length to my half length and I have a pattern with the shoulder that So for the neck, I'll do a basic neck Three and a half by five inches Okay, um, what else? That's just about it. We're doing a shoulder princess that for this pattern. We're also going to tighten here. Going to tighten by half an inch. Alright, so this is the front bodice. We'll just wrap the back bodice. Uh, then we can move over to doing the flare. All right, guys. So, um, sorry, I've lost my voice. I've just drafted the fronts of the bodies. I want us to quickly do the back because we'll be doing um, a princess that too at the back. So all we do is join these two parts together. It's as simple as that. And then I cut out the that and the one below. Now at this point, I'll just get my fabric, put your seam allowances around this pattern. You're going to put seam allowance here, here, on the sides, as well as the front. So I'll get my pattern, I'll get my fabric, place some fabric, cut the fabric, cut the lining, and then we're going to see how to cut the flare. Alright, so quickly let's cut the flare part so that we know what is left from our fabric. Um, you fold your fabric into two. If you've not watched the video where I taught you how to cut flares freehand method, click the link up here so that you see how to do that. Okay. Sorry, guys. My voice. My voice has gone. Bear with me, please. I'm not feeling too good. So we're going to fold the fabric into two first of all. You can see what I'm doing. Fold your fabric into two. After folding into two, what we'll just do is fold it this way in a triangular form um, I'll be doing a half circle not a full circle and then the next thing we want to do is take up first do your division so my waist the waist I'll be using is 36 inches I'm going to do 36 divided by 3.14 and we'll be having 11.5 so here's where my 11.5 is at this point. Pivot your measuring tape. Mm. Great. And then from there, you want the length of your peplum. How long do you want the peplum to be? My bows, the half length will get to about 15, 16 inches. And I want the blouse to be about 25 inches long. So I'll just use 10 inches, which includes the sewing allowance. That's for turning the lining with the, just turning the lining with the um, fabric. So this is just what I'll be cutting out. So you also want to cut, this is what we have in now, for the peplum part that will go to the waist. Let me even see how many inches we have up here. Because if you look at this peplum very well, 
the design is kind of like overlapping so we may be separating to overlap somewhere somehow i'm going to explain what to do there when we get there at this point you also want to cut the flare the one that is standing up right there on the shoulder part so to do that i'll fold my fabric again into two because i want it double um i'll be using a total length of about 20 inches there so <clears throat> i'm going to use this part to do the um, fold so just fold it properly and then we're going to be dividing 20 by 3.14 you can increase it so 20 i took 20 from like what you can see in the picture here um i'm having 6.3 i'll just do 6.5 for the radius i'll do 6.5 and then pivot to however i want fold it to a triangle of course 6.5 6.5 i doubled it so that we have one serving as the lining and the other one as well so from there i'll just measure six inches i don't want it too long you can do 6.5 inches so six inches is fine just measure six inches around you give me one look all right guys so we are done cutting every single thing man it's a lot of work to cut i cut the peplum stand the one that will make the peplum have that stance and then we'll be using this beautiful um what do i call this now is it true kind of lace kind of applique on the ankara around it to give you that pop okay this one will um this one will be a substitute for that chantilly lace that you can see on the design. Cut it for every single one front back. Cut the peplums, okay, and then the stand for the peplum. This is actually a peplum stay. It's a net, it's using bridal. You can check the market when you go to the market. You just want something bouncy that will stand and give it that structure okay so that's what i use so i've got every single thing the lining every single thing up now we'll just go over to start sewing them up yeah sewing padding and as i'm sewing i'll take you along the process yes 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 for that peplum there's a kind of design going on there let's quickly talk about the design um first of all it's not just round like this peplum i'm wearing it's not just round um, the design for the peplum has like an overlapping in the front. There's kind of like an overlap. So we're still going to trim some, we'll trim one part. One part will be normal, we'll trim the other side. We're going to slash this. Let me be doing it as I'm saying so that you see what I'm doing. All right, so um, I will cut this first because it's separate. This will be where the zipper will be going in and i'll separate this one too that will be the zipper area and then for one of them i won't i won't just string both together you want to use your chalk and just create a kind of design going on i'll do that on yeah let's do that for both all right so we will just like use your eye and eyeball it how you want the shape to come out you like whiskey in my way. this looks good already all right so if i need to trim any other thing before sewing i'll do just that now let's just go over to the sewing machine and join all of this up together all right guys so um we're going to start sewing this peplum stand first of all you know we have three pieces this one that will give it the structure and then this two ankara fabric one both of them will just be you know because 
it'll be nice to line it with the same fabric so that it looks good so this one this stay should be um sandwiched in between how do you make that possible put the two ankara fabric together and then the stay at the end so that by the time you sew it along the circumference of the perimeter and you turn it um inside out right the stay will be sandwiched in there i hope you get the gist so let's quickly sew this up so rolling around getting lost in the sounds you love intoxicate morning will come and i'm sobering up but i still got you on my brain all right guys so we have i we have um sewn here the bottom and the top and then you want to close one side so after closing the side notch the um corners and then you want to turn it inside out from here Laying in bed with the pain in my head think i had too much champagne all right so after you have turned it inside out you're going to iron this very well to stay flat because this is what we are going to be sewing on that upper part that we can see. You're going to iron it flat and then we'll form the design there. All right, so let's move on. All right, guys, so far, so good. Um, through assembling all these things, um, here is the main fabric. And you can peep the um, netting that we use there on top of the Ankara. It's giving it some nice look. The lining too was joined separately, front, back, everything. This one is the one um, that will be attached into the sleeve area from the neck to the sleeve area. And then we have these two peplum pieces. Remember, it's going to overlap, okay, all the way to the back. It may not overlap so much all the way to the back, right? So what we are going to be doing now is assembling the other parts and putting in the zipper. So first of all, we'll sew this into this area like this. It'll be attached this way. Um, sew the other one to into the area. So you see, you peep the overlapping going on there. If you want it to go in more, you would have to increase the circumference you cut. So we have that, we'll do that. And then we'll put in the zipper before we now turn it with the lining so that we can still have the enclosed um, sewing going on, okay? So I'll take this to my sewing machine and sew this up every single thing up too much champagne, champagne. Oh, where do the evenings go bathing in the glow you go to my head i want to play it again all right guys so far so good um everything is looking pretty we've sewn the um garments let me but everything has been sewn I'm whole with the lining has been turned on the neckline um, the zipper has been installed and we're having this I'm going to fit it I'm going to close it up with a needle and your thread close that part up so all we need to do now is to install the sleeve here is the sleeve already worked on um, I'll just be installing this into the bodies, right? For both the left and the right hand side. And this is the design that will be used for the um, style element on the blouse, okay? So that's about it though. We're almost done. Hey, 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 hey. Kind of a long one. Okay, um, let's pin up the sleeve at this point. Great. So after we saw, we are almost.
Real Star. Alright guys, so we are already done. It's just to infuse this style element into the pattern. So I will want to take it this way. Okay, I want to take it this way and then put it this way. You can freestyle. If it was longer, I could have added some pleats, but it's not long enough. So um Try and increase the length when you'll be doing yours. Just freestyle with the design. This one will be held with the, with the hand stitch. Okay, so let me pin it this way. Come, let's sit the evening slow. Okay, so here it's going to be to glam up the outfits. You can do some beading work to just glam it up. Um, freestyle with however you feel you want it to be. You don't need to follow the exact um, exact way it came out. Just freestyle. Okay, I think I'll do it this way with this. Make sure as you are sewing, you are relaxing it out. You relax me. This is how the back looks, right? And this is the front. I'm sure you've seen it on me already. Let me know in the comment section below if you like the outcome, what you're going to do differently. I'll be reading out for your comments. to subscribe you don't forget to comment like share my video till we see you in our next tutorial stay safe god bless you all bye you give me